so today, since I don't have any restaurants nearby that serve weed la coche, um, I got some in a can. And this one is spelled with a C, but it's the same stuff, AKA corn mushroom. Found this at my local Mexican grocery store. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a dip with this corn smut. And first I'm gonna start with five ingredients. I've got some milk here, some flour, vegetarian Worcestershire sauce. Now, if you're cooking for vegetarians, regular Worcestershire sauce has anchovies in it, so you might wanna check the ingredients. I've got some hot sauce and some butter. So first of all, we're gonna take the milk, the flour, the butter, some Worcestershire here, Worcestershire. Not even open yet. Alright, add some of this to the mix. Now I've sworn to secrecy as to the recipe, so I'm not going to give you away any exact measurements, but you'll get an idea of what's in here. And then, so we've got the milk, the flour, the butter, the Worcestershire, and it says four to six drops but I like stuff spicy, so I'm just gonna shake in a little bit of that. Okay, I'm using my little hand blender here to blend this up and hope it doesn't go everywhere. <laughs> directly into a pan. And we're gonna cook this nice and slow. Hopefully I didn't curdle it just now, but cook this nice and slow until it thickens up. So it's kind of like a roux, a couple of extra ingredients in it. I think this is probably thick enough. Let me go ahead and take it off the heat and let's just set it aside for a minute. All right, next, I've got some onion and garlic. Now the recipe calls for one clove of garlic, but I'm a bit of a garlic lover, so I doubled that. And I'm going to go ahead and saute it until it's tender. And try not to burn myself. And this is just olive oil in the pan here. That's been heating for a minute. I'll just get these guys nice and tender until they're kind of transparent. I imagine you could substitute maybe some shallots, maybe even some leeks or some roots, what are those things called? The, the like green part of the garlic that you get. Scapes, maybe some scapes. Anything in the onion family, I think, depending on your particular preferences, would probably Tastes pretty tasty. Tastes pretty tasty. Tastes pretty yummy. I don't really like raw onion too much, so I'm going to make sure that this is nice and tender. So I don't get any of that raw onion breath. I'm also one of those people who can't like stop stirring things. So <laughs> I'll just mix and mix. I have 
if I was modifying this recipe, here's where I might add a little salt and pepper, and maybe some cumin. Put my spices in here and let everything get absorbed into these onions. It looks pretty tender to me, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Move it to the side here. Next step is going to be to open up the smut. So, where did I put the um, the smut? Oh, the yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give this a quick rinse. smut here. Clean off this can. Get a good look at what this stuff looks like. Hmm. Okay, so it's kind of grayish green. I think I see some like actual corn in here. Um, but this looks like the mutated kernels that the fungus causes. I'm just going to go ahead and go in here because we're going to blend it up. We're going to recycle the can, of course. Uh, and I've got some vegetable broth. That's going to go in here, too. And then we're going to take those onions and garlic that we chopped up earlier, and that's going to go ahead and go right in here with the smut and the broth. Now you can do this in a regular blender, of course, but the immersion blender is so much easier to clean. All right, so here it goes with this. from the smut. You can see it's like a greenish brown um, and that's kind of what Marin was talking about in the first segment before the break. Um, kind of not the most appetizing color but we're going to add that over here to the cream sauce. See this maybe with some cheese in there too. Get it nice and mixed in. And now we're ready to give it a taste. pretty tasty. I mostly can taste the chip. So I'm going to try a little bit. A little bit of chip and a lot of dip. It's definitely an interesting flavor. It's pretty delicious. It's nice and salty and creamy and um, oniony. I'm not getting like a huge 
fungus flavor or a huge mushroom flavor or a huge corn flavor. It's just kind of like a nice, salty, creamy dip. And that's it. That's the Huit Licochi dip. If you wanted to use it in burritos, you just cut down the milk by half and then you'll be ready to go. And that's it. Thanks for watching.